Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how easy it is to create a solid model from wireframe geometry using 1CNC. Now, you absolutely do not need a solid model to apply toolpath, but if you have the Mill Professional system or the Mill Expert system, there is a whole suite of tools that make your solid model creation very, very simple. Now, in this video, what we're going to take a look at is the extrude suite of tools. All right, so I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. Let's go over here to the main toolbar, and underneath modeling, let's select extrude. All right, so here's your suite of tools for extruding geometry. Let's start with extrude curves. I'm going to left hand mouse click that. Once we do that, 1CNC wants us to digitize or select any closed boundary. So I'm going to left hand mouse click. I'm done selecting, so I'm going to right click. As soon as I'm finished, you can see it's easy to dynamically extrude this in the Z positive or Z negative direction. So I'm going to push this down, left hand mouse click, and there you go. There's a solid model. Now I'm going to do the, undo this by hitting Control Z, like Control Zebra on the keyboard. That's just like hitting the undo button up here. Let's go back into Extrude Curves and take a closer look at this. So we hit Extrude Curves. Again, I'm going to left hand mouse click. I'm done selecting, so I'm going to right click. So as I move up and down, notice that we're snapping to grid units. You'll notice that over here within the height field. And because my system is set up to units, I'm snapping to imperial units up and down. Now, if you want to type in a particular value, it's very simple. Just move your cursor over here and type in what you want. So I'll type in minus point, how about 835. If that looks good, I can just hit the Enter key on the keyboard, or I can take my cursor and left hand mouse click in the drawing area to execute that. That looks great. Let's undo this, so Control Z on the keyboard. Again, that's just like hitting undo. We'll go back in here, but now in selecting, instead of selecting just one shape, let's select multiple shapes. I'll select two shapes, I'll right hand mouse click, and I'm just going to move that down and left click. And you can see that it's easy to extrude shapes that have holes or pockets that push all the way through them. All you have to do is select multiple shapes. Now I need to undo this because this circle for our part is going to be a boss. So I'm going to hit Control Z, Control Zebra on the keyboard to undo that. Let's go back into Extrude Curves. I'm going to left click. I'm done selecting, so I'm going to right hand mouse click. I'm going to come over here and just keep an eye on this height. I'm going to come down to minus one right there, left hand click, and there's our shape that's extruded down minus one. Now to create this boss, we have a command specifically designed for that. It's called extrude a boss. So I'm going to use that tool. We're going to, again, just simply left click any closed boundary, and then after we select that shape, you instantly go into the uh, dynamic drag uh, mode here. And you can see I can easily push this up or down. You're going to want to go up because we're making a boss. I'm going to make that boss an inch and of course you can come over here and type in whatever values you want. But I'm going to go with an inch and then left click and then there we go. There's our boss. Alright, uh, something I do want to point out is that if I go into select mode, if I hit the letter S like Sierra on the keyboard, that's just like hitting this first option up here. If I left hand mouse click this shape, you can see it's one shape. Right? So keep that in mind. That's important if we want to put a fillet or a chamfer in here. The reason why I bring this up is sometimes you might be tempted to just use another extrude curve command to put the boss in here. Let's do that. I'll go extrude curves. I'm going to grab that shape. I'm going to right hand mouse click because I'm finished. I'm going to push this up to an inch left click, and you can see that shape looks exactly the same. And As far as manufacturing goes, there would be no problem. You can go in here and apply toolpath to it. Not a problem at all. But, if I go into select mode, you'll notice that we have two separate shapes. And what that means is it would be impossible for you now to put a fillet in here or a chamfer without combining these into one separate shape. So if you're going to make a boss, it's really just easy just to use the extrude a boss command grab the shape that you want to make a boss, uh, either drag it up or type in whatever value you want there for height, left click, and now you know that if you have to create a fillet or a chamfer, you can definitely do that because you've got one shape there. Alright, let's take a look at another command while we're here. I'm going to switch this over to a, let's go to a top view, that looks good, and I think I'm just going to sketch just a simple shape about like that. Now when you're extrude uh, curves or extrude boss or extrude cut, which I'm about ready to show you, you do need a closed boundary. So that's what I've quickly sketched there. Let's make it a little more interesting. Why don't we put a fillet in that? And the fillet of one inch is fine, so I'll grab that there. That looks good. 
All right, so here's how Extrude Cut works. We'll come back over here to our Extrude uh, suite of tools. We're going to go with Extrude Cut now. And now we're going to left click that boundary. And again, you can dr dynamically drag that up or down. You can type in whatever value you want. Or you can just simply snap. I'm going to come down and snap to minus 0.5 and left hand mouse click. And there you go. That's what the cut command does. The cut command will take your closed boundary and allow you to perform an extrude cut on your model. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.